What's going on, good people out there in YouTube land? It is your main man, the Bad Wolf, also known as the Man in Black. If you don't know why, well, <laughs> you might find out. All right, so, but today I'm in white, so it is what it is. All right, so as we approach these happy holidays, you guys make sure you guys take care of yourselves, because obviously I'm not there to do it for you. And, well, that would probably be a little weird, right? Um, but, uh, yeah, so this particular video is going to be about a couple of things about how to deal with foreclosure. Now, obviously, I'm no expert, and you guys should go and see a licensed professional, not just somebody on YouTube, all right? Um, as always, everything here is educational entertainment purposes only, so please do your own due diligence. With that being said, uh, if you guys see anybody using my videos or trying to be funny or clown me or whatever else or calling me the S word, feel free to have my permission to report their videos for bullying, slander, defamation of character, all of which are suable offense in the federal district court. And just know that I appreciate you guys in advance. And as always, if you guys want a consultation, you guys know to find me on blacksite32.com. I'm also on TikTok and Instagram and all those other places. And for the love of God, please make sure you guys do not get scammed by people out there pretending to be me or anybody else out there. Always think twice, double check your information, who you're talking to. Um, go to that person's main website to make sure it's actually them. All right, so let's get a little light on here. Ooh, that's a little bright. All right. As always, all my videos here have been education and informational purposes only. So if somebody out there who is a troll and you do not like my information, don't try to make your name off of me and my videos. That is so lowbrow and um, really just sad, especially if you're somebody of color going against me or anybody else. Um, it's, it's really sad to see people fighting each other when people should be fighting the system itself, if you're gonna fight anything at all. But I guess it is what it is. So make sure you guys do not get scammed. Make sure you guys are not spending tons of money out there with the so-called gurus and shamans who wanna sit around and uh, tell you that it's only their way or the highway and whatever else. All the information that I have and everybody else out there presents you with, none of it's super secret. OK, you can find it yourself by doing a little bit of homework. Um, but if you want somebody um, to help you or to get, you know, a head start on stuff, then, yeah, by all means, review their information. But everything, guys, can be found for free in the books and whatever else. None of it's hidden. It's just people have put it together for you. So, all right, with the pleasantries out of the way, I think that's pretty much it on that we are right at 60,000 so thank you good people for recognizing me as being a good person and as always I'm just doing my best I'm just providing information um I'm not in competition with anybody I will never appear on anybody else's channels to debate because I'm not 12 years old I'm not gonna slap back at somebody for trying to you know whatever troll I have the comments turned off for those reasons and also because I don't want to deal with like the AIs and the um porn uh solicitations and whatever else this is about education information and you are as always allowed to have your own interpretation on the information so with that being said let's get to some foreclosure stuff here all right so education entertainment purposes only now some of the things you guys can do in dealing with foreclosure okay is understand that one, you guys can go and do a fraud audit, okay? A guy by the name of Sean Adley, somebody that has been very, very helpful in this with doing uh, mortgage audits, has the ability to also look up your bonds as well and tell you what's going on with those. And especially he also does foreclosure, okay? So he, he deals with finding the fraud in the foreclosure. He can be found at... Um, mortgageauditsonline.com. You can tell him the bad wolf sent you. He'll take care of you and his services underneath me should be discounted for you. So make sure you mention that in advance. Um, so that's one of the things. He obviously does not 
do any of the other work for you, but provide the paperwork, okay? So if there's some available, he will find it. This is what he used to do when he used to work for the banks. We won't, we won't hold that against him, all right? Because that knowledge now works for us, we the people. Um, so finding the fraud in there from the get-go, especially with the promissory note and whatever else, is key or paramount in helping to say, hey, uh, there's been fraud on this mortgage since day one, all right? And this is what it is. Now, nobody can guarantee you success with any of their methods whatsoever. So another method that people can use for uh, dealing with foreclosure is getting the company that is, you know, your bank, if they still have it, or if you're working with your servicer or whoever, a promissory note, okay? The promissory notes can be, you can make your own, you can get one from my website. Obviously, we can't guarantee anything, but you definitely want to make sure you get that to the right party, all right? So usually that's going to be either the CFO of the company or more especially the indentured trustee. You have to hunt that information down and get them that document, all right? Um, they are all supposed to take it. This is under the UCC, whether they like it or not, and it is considered legal tender. And they can use that to monetize it and then pay off the foreclosure. Uh, another aspect is filing for bankruptcy. Yes, I know that is not a great or grand idea, but it is not the end of the world. Plus, it pays off all of your bills and debts that you bring forward. So. Why would you not? If that's the way you have to move, then so be it. Sacrifice it because you can also then do a consultation with me and we can talk about either how to deal with that or build cred other credit lines and whatever else, either before, during, or after. So you're not cheeks in the wind, as my friend would say. Um, so another method that we've used to deal with that is to especially beforehand, you want to put your house in a trust. If they haven't taken the house from you, okay, you have the ability because you still own it. You can still uh, do away with it, um, dispense of it, and whatever else. So it would be highly advanced or, or highly um, advantageous is the correct word if you create a private irrevocable trust and transfer the house into the trust before anything actually happens. If it's already started, okay, you still have the ability to put it in there, okay? But that doesn't mean that they don't have the ability to still come after you and your legal straw person um, for the actual debt. Now, according to other people, this means that the trust now owns the house. And obviously, if you've watched any of my videos, you want to make sure this is private and you do not use your legal name for the name of the trust, but create your, yourself a private irrevocable trust, transfer your house into it, update everything with the uh, county or wherever the house is recorded, property tax assessor and the city by doing a quick claim deed to the uh, of the property into the name of the trust. The trust then receives it unencumbered and um, the people coming after you for the house to try to foreclose um, are going to be stymied. Now, in some areas, some states, they say that this needs to be done at least 18 months in advance for it to stick. Okay, so check out your laws and see how they move. But in general, once it's put into the trust, it's put into the trust. Now, sometimes they will do fraud and remove it from the trust, which is totally fraud, which means now you really need to take them to federal district court. So that's gonna be the next part we're gonna talk about here. So if they're going after you in foreclosure, most likely they did not have an article three judge sign off on anything for them to legally be or lawfully be able to take your property, which means they're trying to do it legally without you knowing that you have the option to sue them for trying to foreclose on you without this being judicial in an article three court versus an article one court on a state level. So what I would do is gather your information and let them know that if they continue to proceed with this, that you will be filing a federal lawsuit. You want this reviewed. You believe that they don't have the right to do what they're doing. Okay, there's fraud there, or you did, or they made you sign something under duress. Okay, so that's another option that you have. Now, I haven't used this particular one personally, but a number of people have used a 1099C. 
Okay. Now, what I would recommend, you can do whatever you want. As always, this information is just education, entertainment. You guys can do whatever you like. But a 1099-C, you can send that to them, which is a, a cancellation of debt. Now, you can't force them to use it. But you can send them a letter informing them that due to your insolvency, your inability to pay the debt, that you want it to be discharged with this document. I personally, if it was me, would send that document blank because as it is listed legally, they are the creditor. So you can't force them to just discharge it. All right. But you can authorize them that you are saying you're insolvent or you have reached insolvency and that you want them to utilize this 1099-C to discharge it or to discharge it in general. However you guys want to do it, just do it. Okay. Um, what I, as educational use only, if your current debt on the house is say 150,000, maybe you want to fill in the amount on the um, 1099-C only as say 150, 165 165 just to make sure any you know associated fees and things of that nature on there because if you just try to put your value of the house that may not cover what their computer internally says is the payoff for that debt so um some people have if i didn't yeah if i didn't mention this before they have um okay so tell you see Okay, so those are going to be the primary ways off the top. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I know. Okay, some people have also used the UCC1 by taking the uh, property description and the full property description, like on your taxes or whatever else, everything word for word, letter for letter, do not abbreviate, do not change anything. Putting that in a UCC one with a lien against it, because nine times out of 10, they do not have a current lien in place. They threaten the lien, but they don't actually have one filed with the state. You putting one in ahead of time, you know, or like I said earlier, doing a trust, all these things are mostly preventative but they have been able to work during and and some of these things even after the things have already taken place. So then updating them with the fact that there is a lien on the property is also another way. Um, another method that we have used is I made a video on how to look for uh, funding or uh, grants and whatever else in your area. So based off of that information as well, Another thing that you guys can do is to go on Google or whatever else. And I've heard people make try to make fun. Oh, you look at this. You could look at this smart person. He's going on telling you to go search something on Google. OK, well, Google is just a search engine. OK, you can use any one of them you want. I don't really care. I don't work for them. I don't even really necessarily care for them. It's just they usually have more results than most other places. So don't be an infant. Use whatever search engine you want to get whatever like Bruce Lee said, use whatever tactic that works to get the job done, okay? Okay, so with that being said, you're definitely gonna wanna make sure that you search in your area for such programs and things like, so if you're in say Madison, so the city of Madison, so I would type in city of Madison foreclosure relief program. I would type in state of um, Arizona foreclosure relief program. County of Madison foreclosure relief program or assistance. I would then type in maybe state of Arizona, how to stop foreclosure. You're going to find a number of different places. You might even want to search in like private church, private foundation. Um, and if it comes down to it, even private investor or angel investor foreclosure relief programs. Any of these are going to find, and I would use those last because usually they're city, state, county, church, and even going to USA.gov, looking for those programs on those places first, they're going to have them in place. How do I know this? We've already done this. I've done this for hundreds of people already, including some personal friends of mine who got themselves in certain scenarios. So when you do that, 
they're going to provide you when you give them the proper paperwork with grants that you don't have to pay back to keep you in your house because ultimately they want you there so that, well, let's just be honest, you can keep generating income for them. Okay. So those are going to be ways that you're going to be able to do it. So now let's see what the internet, once again, has to say about some other methods, because like I always say, I don't know it all. I know a lot. Anybody claiming to know it all, you guys should run from that person. Anybody telling you this is the only way you can do it, run from that person. If that person is telling you um, stuff like, as in, you know, oh, you know, trust me, this and that, or, um, you know, don't vet my information. I always tell you guys to double check my work and whatever else. I'm not perfect because I am just a child of God and things can be misconstrued, but I'm usually 99% on the mark. All right. So, but let's see what else is out there. So we're going to share screen as soon as I Find the right thing. So how's everybody doing out there? How's everybody feeling? What's new, good, fun? Um, I can't hear you guys anyway, but uh, I'm going to assume everybody said things are well. Except for those haters out there. F you and everything that you stand for. But for the rest of you guys, love you guys. Thanks for the support. All right. Let's see what we got here. Shazam! All right, so so here HUD.gov has programs, okay? So you can talk to HUD. All right, they have an avoiding foreclosure pamphlet that you can get by going to HUD.gov. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Delaying foreclosure, the Dodd-Frank Act, the 120-day rule. So they have to be out 120 days before they can try to go after you. Now, we know that there's fraud there, okay? So I gave you most of that information. It says there, do banks want to avoid foreclosure? No. And it says, no one wants a home foreclosure, neither you nor your lenders. This is a lie. Yes, they do. They want to flip that over so they can make more money. So, <laughs> wrong. Otherwise, they would try to work with you and give you, and see, if you're, if you're going to face it, you should contact them and ask them for remedy in the form of what all programs you have available that can allow me to keep my home from being foreclosed upon. Now, we already know that there's shady uh, lenders out there and servicers. All right, so this is a lie. This is the hype that they, they might sell you on here. But uh, yeah, they, they want to foreclose on you. They absolutely do. All right, maybe if you have like a credit union or whatever else, they may not want to. But yeah. Now, one of the other, let's back it up real quick. Boom. So one of the other tricks that people have used is, okay, so... They really get you in foreclosure if you're not making any payments. Legally, what is it? $5 is the minimum payment somebody can make that allows them, from what I've heard, educational information only, that as long as you're making these $5 payments, they cannot foreclose on you because you are attempting to pay the debt. Okay? So paying something, even if it's little, even if it costs, and even if you have to keep paying $5, for the rest of your life is better than not paying anything at all because they're saying that you walked away from the table and you are in default. Now, there's some other things in there with the note and with the FDIC you guys should look at when it comes to your home and what has secured your home and why they should not be able to foreclose on you. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Okay. So here, Consumer Financial Protection Bureau Okay, so let's just see what they have. We'll pop in on them real quick. So they're saying, make a call to your mortgage servicer. Ask for free expert help. Okay, they have it here. So you can use their website and number. Okay, and, a B and you should be able to apply to your loan servicer for help. 
If you have an issue with your financial product or service, file a complaint with them as well. Okay, and then obviously, obviously here, this is key. Be careful not to get into foreclosure scams. Okay. So watch out for these things. People asking you to pay up front, um, make people making guarantees, ask you to sign your title over to them. Those are all normal scams. So be careful and weary of those. Nobody can promise you success, period. You can't. Okay. So here, uh, let's see here. Uh, says here they've got a free ebook on 32 ways to stop foreclosure. Okay, it also says here the Federal Housing Finance Agency or OIG has an overview of foreclosure process. The lender may be willing but is under no obligation to stop the sale if only past due payments are tendered. Okay, so once again here, they talk about bankruptcy in order to avoid foreclosure. So you can get more information from them right there. Okay, once again, they talk about bankruptcy as an option. Okay, let's see if we can find this PDF here. Okay, so this particular information goes out to, you know, or shout out to Dave Dinkle. You can buy his book or... All right, so he's got his program. It's a 223-page ebook. Whoa, okay, well, easy, easy, easy. I don't know if I would, me personally... <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to pay that kind of money for this. Oh, okay, hold on. So he's saying get all this information for $47. Okay, that's reasonable. Even $500 would not be that bad. So maybe this is the way to go for some of you guys. I'm not promoting or anything. I'm just saying that's that's an, uh, an option. See if they have any uh so on script. I don't know, I don't think I have that. Get it free for 30 days on here if you guys choose to get that document. Let's see. Okay, well, I'm not gonna pull that up now. All right, and because this is somebody else's materials, I don't I don't want to go through each and everything. Yeah, it's Dave Dinkles. Okay. Um, I don't want him mad at me for putting his information out there like that, even though somebody already uploaded the script. But that's between him and them. I've had to remove some of my files from there, people just uploading it. It's not cool, but I get it. Um Okay, so here how they have it, foreclosure defense in Louisiana. So each state is going to move a little bit different when it comes to dealing with foreclosure. So you might want to look, Memphis has their own here. You know, you can, this is a, a lawyer or an attorney. Okay, so here are five ways you can stop or avoid foreclosure in today's mark, market. Take a look at this. Okay, download your free stop guide. Okay, so you can get that free. It says they'll send you a PDF to your email.
once again, the insolvency. So this here, here you, uh, this is where I'm talking about, meaning you can't pay. Okay, when crazy enough, that is the end of the internet for that right here. So that's that's wild. Um, well, I guess it's kind of limited results on that. Um, so let's um, so once again, let's go to um, I don't know uh, Florida, um, state of, and then I don't know um, programs to. Stop foreclosure. So here they're saying filing for bankruptcy, reinstating the loan, redeeming the property for sale, forbearance. Loan modifications, refinancing, short sale, which is where you sell it to somebody else. Deed in lieu of foreclosure. Making arrangements with the lender, getting forbearance. Reverse mortgage. I don't know about that one. Refinancing with hard money. You can do that, but the interest is kind of, uh, might be a little jazzy, a little sketchy. Agreeing to a loan modification. So that's also another good way. So they mentioned forbearance. So let's take a look. Forbearance is not automatic. You must request it from your mortgage servicer. This might seem like a big step to take, but taking action now can help you pause your payments and avoid foreclosure. So what is forbearance versus foreclosure? A forbearance agreement is an assurance by the lender to refrain from starting a foreclosure process for a limited time, even though it is not receiving full payments. Okay, the lender and the homeowner may agree to pause payments entirely during this time, or they may agree to a reduced payment. So you can ask for a forbearance. Okay, so there's two types of it. Um, well, I think we kind of talked about that. So apparently you can do this for a student loan as well. Okay, yeah. so let's take a look at, um, I don't know, uh, City of Madison um, grants for foreclosure. How about some, something like that? Uh, we'll put home. So here... Okay, in the city of Madison, resources for home buyers and property owners. City direct stimulus funding for foreclosures. Okay, this, this particular information is in Wisconsin. Um, grant opportunities, housing and city. Buyer assistance programs and more. Okay. Um, how about, um, let's go, uh, I don't know, Miami, oh, what is it? I think it's like, uh, let's hear, Dade County Foreclosure Program, oh, not bad, um, Home stop foreclosure yeah something like that okay so here you can see like i said foreclosure assistance miami dade county learn how to save your home through the mortgage foreclosure defense project legal help is available fannie mae is in cooperation with them so there you go
You can stop foreclosure before it happens. Even after the bank has filed a foreclosure lawsuit against you, you have the right of redemption, which allows you to cure the mortgage by catching up the missed payments. What is a motion to dismiss foreclosure in Florida? Check that out. An answer either admits or denies allegation made by the bank foreclosure complaint. This is a motion that asks the court to dismiss the complaint because it is legally defective. There you go. So they've already filed against you. You can file a motion to dismiss. Or if they're going after you, rather, not after the fact. This is before or during. How do you turn around a foreclosure? File for bankruptcy or file a lawsuit against the foreclosing party. Another tactic right here. If they're coming after you, you file a lawsuit against them. Okay, so another term you can add in there is foreclosure hardship relief. Okay. So, because I did mention um, possibly using a church, so let's go with church. Um, let's see. Uh, programs. Assist once again, HUD and here, right here for women foreclosure assistance programs for women, right there. Right here, two Winston-Salem firms help local church. Oh, that's for most of for a church. All right. So essentially, guys, that is the just of how to deal with foreclosure. Now, there might be some other tactics out there, but I've definitely given you guys enough that you guys can use any of those. To my knowledge, all of those mentionings and things have worked. And I showed you guys a couple of spots where you can even get their pamphlets for free, the PDFs, and use those things in there. Now, as always, everything here is educational information. And you really should see a licensed professional in the game to help you out. But if you're going to do things on your own and get started um, or even carry it out, obviously you're grown. You should be. And use this information and go from there. So by all means, like I said, even if you guys were to do like a consultation, I don't have much more than what I've just presented to you guys here. So cannot guarantee any, a whole lot more additional information other than that these are the best ways that I know about. Um, I do not walk people through the process because I don't believe in charging you guys, you know, more than if it's something that I, you know, can help you out with fully. And I just don't have the time for it. And I couldn't guarantee, you know, your ways out um, or that we will be successful. Can't make that guarantee. Nobody can. Nobody can guarantee anything to you. All right. The only thing guaranteed in life is taxes. <laughs> About it. Well, unless you use the correct forms to be tax exempt, because that's cool, too. All right, guys. So that's it. Um, I'm going to probably make one or two more videos and then I'm going to be on holiday taking a break from all of the stresses and things. I'll still be doing some consultations, but a lot of it is already booked up until January. So I will be getting off of YouTube for a while because this is not my only life. And, uh, you know, people are bothersome little bottom feeders and trolls and 
things of that nature. So you got to woosaw, let your hair down and breathe a little bit and just um, see what the good Lord, you know, has around you in life. So as a light worker and someone who is a lover of God and peace, uh, sometimes you have to take a little peace for yourself. So I thank you guys. A couple more videos and then you won't see me for a while because I will be reading and learning some more things to bring to you guys. And we've got some of the processes in the works. So I will be able to bring that to you. And we will be doing the this year seminars and the federal rules of civil procedure. So you got to learn how to sue people in federal court for yourself. So uh, one, one or two last couple of things. It's funny. Some people mentioned they were like, oh, the wolf didn't come up with the 09 all code. No, I didn't create it. That's been there since they created it back in 94 or whenever it was. We were using that code in the explanatory statement privately for those people who bought that product since I offered that product. So we've been using it for years. I only made the videos most recently about them in the public because now everybody's starting to learn about it. But for those people who were in my test groups and followed me in our think tanks, well, we know the truth about it. So I wasn't trying to hurt anybody's feelings out there, but even if I did, don't care. So with that being said, look guys, in all honesty, we all should be working together, period. And if you don't want to, well, then that says more about your character and you're more about the money than actually helping people because that's what this is about. We the people, we Americans, we nationals and state citizens, we private moors, we private uh, state assembly, whatever you are, they want us to fight amongst ourselves like little ignorant children in the, in the sandbox instead of being grown people working together as a nation of nations. And if that's not you, then you're really not a part of this. If this is you, then act accordingly, govern yourselves and let's help the people so that we can get to where we need to be. That's it. That's all this channel is about. So with that, everybody, God bless. And those people of light, continue to keep seeking light, look to the East, keep love and light in your heart. And I hope and pray that everybody out there takes care of themselves. Travel safely, be wise, woke, and aware of everything, and take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll talk to you later. Wolf's out.